this highlighted. conference will now be recorded. So another script which, uh, which we highlighted was Equitas. Uh, we've already given a buy call at 102.5. It's trading near 208, which is a stiff resistance area. And uh, potentially it is uh, testing the level. And that is the uh, main resistance area. The moment it crosses above 109, potential up moving up to 114 to 116, that's a, you know, uh, uh, the target, uh, short term target, and then we'll revisit if it has some uh, another leg uh, because uh, they have to come up with a banking IPO. We have seen Ojeevan oh, from 270 to 360 just before their uh, IPO. Uh, so same can be seen in this. At the same time, since they have to bring their banking IPO, I expect Equitas results are going to be a, a good one. So you can keep a eye on that and uh, you can make a bull spread there. And uh, I think uh, we will get some money. Right. Uh, so a bit update on uh, steel sector. And uh, since I said that uh, the move is uh, now bigger. So Tata Steel uh, recommended at 380, 82 all levels, standing at 483 now. So it has potential to move up near to 504, 505 level. But that is, uh, again, a stretched zone. So it needs a good consolidation there. The most under-owned is uh, VDL, uh, as I said. So again, we have a potential of another 17 to 18 rupees, standing at 159. It dips uh, near to 156, 157 zone is a breakout area. So probably, if you catch that, you have a small stop loss of 153. Those who have missed can participate in this. So that is uh, the good uh, entry point, I guess. So autos, uh, be selective. Uh, I don't think uh, much of appreciation in auto. Uh, autos are uh, generally showing a range bound move. Asher, uh, or you can take Mahindra or Hero Moto. So, Hero Moto Corp has made a dip and made a low of 20, 22 uh, 2270 sorts, 2265 sorts, and then reversed and uh, made a high of 2480, near 2475. Now it will go into consolidation. So, any dip uh, near to 2365, 2370, uh, uh, you make it a point to take that in delivery. Uh, take a stop loss of uh, 30 odd points and uh, you have a target of 2600 on upside if results are good so uh, i think most of the script is collected and if we, if we buy that area of 2365 and stop loss of 30 we have uh, somewhat 200 rupees on upside if uh, results are good so maintain that and uh, that is what uh, i'm looking at too so uh, short covering in hdfc hdfc bank uh, they are helping the index and uh, this market is purely on uh, working on short covering note. The under owns are, uh, as I told before in webinar, uh, those legs which not worked uh, will work for next one month. So I think uh, metal was one which is now uh, participating and it is all short covering which is happening in middle sector. And uh, that is good leg to uh, make money. Right, apart from this, any questions I can answer. Meanwhile, if there is an update on trade, uh, I'll I'll help you on it. So DLF has uh, shown a very uh, good move today. Uh, made a low of 227, 226.50, standing at 233. Uh, previous high was 235. And if it breaks that, it can move up to 36, 37 zone. A scalper uh, trade can be taken uh, in the script. So any dips uh, near to 31.10 or 30.50 is a good support area. Uh, if someone wants to trade that, uh, uh, I think 35.36 uh, can be a good target. A bit of uh, update on Bank Nifty. So it is uh, showing kind of uh, HNS pattern, head and shoulder move, and uh, uh, this this move can take us to 32,400, 401, 410 is a stiff resistance area. So I think uh, a lot of selling or shorting uh, can be uh, the one way I think traders will think of. But we need to see that because if it doesn't, uh, you know, hold that area. Uh, a good shock covering which can uh, actually extend to 32 700 to 800 zone so that's a possibility uh, provided uh, we get a participation from uh, public sector banks which i can see on the early note that uh, 
these talks have been participating and there's a strong uh, support uh, seen in Canada Bank uh, standing at 221 uh, to 220. Uh, I have uh, noticed a lot of delivery based buying was happening there. So stock has risen well at uh, like uh, almost you know quarter to three percent and uh, similar state bank of india has very good support holding in 32 33 zone and bounce back so uh, so probably higher lows and then higher high uh, is a game uh, there's a possibility which can uh, you know take bank nifty up so next participation will be from the uh, public sector banks and uh, probably the excess bank which has not participated keep that in mind uh, any sharp knock above uh, the previous high which was uh, uh, 765 to 760 zone, 67 zone will trigger the move. So uh, there was uh, one more thing uh, we have inspired today and 12,300 call. I think a lot of uh, writing uh, is, done, is done and uh, uh, you might see a, a spike uh, there as well. The moment we hit uh, 12,200 and uh, uh, so probably uh, 92 93 that's a possibility if uh, public sector bank takes on so if that happens uh, a, a good short covering which will take nifty to 12348 and there is also a chance that once it hits that uh, 340 348 zone it come back and closes below 300 so don't get uh, excited uh, the moment it breaks and it's a better you know you just participate get into the trade and just exit the trade that is the better way to uh, uh, do the trading so any uh, script you want to uh, get it answered, I, I'll help you. So we got requests by Himanshu on VEPL. Yeah, very uh, strong volume move we could see uh, the first participation and then distributed the participation twice uh, this shows that uh, now the bulls are active in the script and the script has been it's been falling since like uh, oh my god a strong fall from 220 continuously and in strong hands so what we need to check is a uh, falling trend line which will give us an idea uh, whether it's going to hold or moving up. So, so you can see that uh, that's the immediate resistance it has met. It needs to consolidate this area. So we have a small gap at 48.45. Uh, whether it will fill or not, uh, at present it's, it's uh, difficult to say. But looking at current volume structure, it seems uh, very strong. So the moment it takes above this trend line, which is uh, likely, I think it, it is uh, going to hit uh, area of 56.90 to uh, 57 area. So it needs to hold that. It needs a consolidation. It needs to prove uh, it has trend. So the moment it, it does that, I think uh, the target zone is around uh, 65, 64, 65 area. Yeah, so uh, answering to Himanshu, Himanshu says that above 55 looks good. Yeah, so if it breaks long-term trend line, the, the trend uh, structure changes and the kind of volume it, it is showing, uh, it seems uh, it will break uh, into levels of 64. Uh, but very uh, uh, short-term idea, somebody wants to trade uh, for a day or two, somebody wants to enter, I think uh, put a buy side on 51.55. Uh, it will dip to surely it can dip to 49.45 so buy a 500 if somebody wants to buy a thousand buy a 500 51.55 dips down to 49.50 or anything which is below 50 buy it take a stop loss of a gap i don't think the gap is going to fill so take that stop loss of 47.90 and your first target stands at 57 and second at 64. So volumes are pretty good, uh, but uh, it is consolidating, I think. 
so any dip uh, is a buy. Uh, there's a, a morning star structure, and uh, for an intraday dip of uh, 51.65 is a very strong uh, uh, support. And intraday stop loss of 50.20. Positionally, I've already shared. Positionally, you need to buy 51.55, 49.50, stop loss 47.90, target 57.64. So we have a query from Vipul. Uh, uh, so Vipul says Larson moving up as recommended. Yeah, so Larson is strong and uh, a good booster uh, by finance minister on infrastructure spending will take the counter up. Uh, it's a good investment. Uh, risk reward is favorable. So is VDL. Yeah, yeah. So VDL is moving uh, good again. Should I buy RBL? So RBL has started moving uh, post consolidation. It went up to 380, uh, made a low of 332. Uh, very strong consolidation uh, at the levels of 340, 41 now. Any dips uh, near to 47, 48, so it's a good buy for a fresh entry. As of now, I think uh, if it holds 57, 58 is a gray area. So you you do you can do a trading kind of uh, thing because. Uh, as I said, a provisioning of 800 crores, another 800 crores is expected. So if that happens, uh, stock can fall down to another 30, 40 rupees. So it may fall from 380 to 340, possible, fair possible, because 340 is going to stand as if they have been raising fund there to protect an NAV of investors. So uh, any dips can be uh, you know, uh, bought there. But I think uh, potentially it can move up to 375 to 380 zone. So uh, current structure, uh, any dips uh, near to 54, 55, you can collect that. Keep a short target of 72 uh, just before result. The moment it is there, you should exit. So we have a request from Amit uh, who wants me to answer on Maharashtra's does. Very uh, strong hourly consolidation. Uh, it seems somebody selecting this here. And uh, what we need to see is uh, that it should trade above this moving average. So, somewhat it, it is trading today. Uh, so, the potential move will only uh, be above 45.50. And uh, the script for once, you I, I think uh, it is a, a strong cup and handle formation. So, this is how you can actually see. So uh, strong cup and handle move. Uh, I think the moment it breaks that and holds, uh, uh, there, there can be a, a kind of uh, short term move. But this consolidation is pretty strong and whosoever is entered so operator would, would not like that. Uh, they will take this grip. I, somebody would participate on the upper side. So I think any fall uh, below this, uh, which is 43, 40, 43, 43, 50, uh, you can buy. A safe bet to buy this is 43, 10 to 42, 80. Uh, take a stop loss of 4260 uh, uh, on a closing basis and keep a target of uh, 4600. It's a good trade. Uh, somebody wants to trade. The averages have already cooled down. And uh, what I'm looking is any any dip uh, which can be collected. So this can happen anytime. Kind of symmetrical formation in hourly chart pattern. Uh, wait for a dip uh, to buy at 4310. Take a stop loss of 4260 on closing basis with a target of 4600. Request from Rajiv, uh, IDFC first bank for long term. Yeah, so it seems as if uh, it's breaking that uh, parallel trend of consolidation, standing at 46, uh, of sharp, very sharp movement. Uh, uh, last time it has uh, actually not uh, closed the gap. So the gap stands at 48.60. The momentum is sharp from last, uh, I think, five days. And uh, average is a bit under control, but I feel hourly is overbought. It's a bit of consolidation. Yes, it is overbought. You can see it is overbought. So what it wants is uh, kind of, this is, again, a cup. Uh, I'll just change our shadow so that you can see the this.
Okay, so it, it is it is just forming kind of uh, a rounding bottom. It requires a, a handle formation. So any dip uh, uh, near to 45, 50 and uh, 45, yeah, 44, 45, 40 to 45, 50 can be bought and uh, have a safe target of 48, uh, 0.20, 48, 40 sorts. So trade, trade kind of, uh, I think, uh, like 7, 8% return if you get that. Uh, keep holding and let the average cool off a bit and then you participate. Positional view uh, on IDFC. Yeah, so stands good. Uh, I think a lot of consolidation is there and uh, it's trading in a channel. So immediate. So that is how it is. Uh, it is just maintaining within the channel. So immediate, uh, I think 45 is going to be a bit resistance area. But if you can see uh, a lot of volume buying has been happening in uh, these areas. The kind of HNS pattern, head and shoulder pattern, you can see okay. inverted head and shoulder. So possibility of breaking out that 49 mark. So you can again take that in your portfolio, but on dips. Manchu requesting on IDBI Bank. So IFL uh, is being promote is just being uh, just promoting this and uh, they are buying it for a longer term view. So uh, I think uh, you need to hold it uh, for a longer period. Uh, the script uh, seems good and uh, it is again showing inverted head and shoulder pattern. So 30, 35 to 34 is a good entry point. If you see long term average, which uh, which has a very good support at 3260. So anything which gives you an entry near 35, 34 areas, you can buy it. And immediate target could be around 42 to 44 zone. Uh, long term, it stands good. Uh, we need, uh, you know, healthy books. That's it. So over a period of time, this bank should do good. People say is uh, SW Solar is supposed to have great potential. Let's take that, people. So can't say that uh, this book, uh, this company has a uh, debt on books uh, when, by I think a good 2000 crores and uh, the IPO was done uh, just to offlay uh, that part because of pressure I understand from the market. Uh, at current uh, rate, I don't know uh, if it has potential uh, to move up uh, over a period of time. Uh, I think uh, more important uh, uh, apart from story is that the books of the company should be good and if it is improving over a period of time it's a good investment but uh, from the trading point of view it has uh, it has uh, made a kind of weekly morning star pattern so a uh, good entry uh, stands at uh, 318 to 310 zone potential stop loss at 290 and uh, you can have a target safe target of 370 if it moves in your favor so two bits uh by 380 by 310 stop loss 291 on the closing basis target of 370. excuse me Okay, so people saying that they are committed to making a zero debt company. So if they are committed, you uh, they have to show their performance uh, quarter and quarter. They have to prove that. And let's let's hope uh, you need to track down the company and then invest. DLF positional short. So uh, I am actually not looking at it. If you will check my last webinars, I have uh, spoken that once it breaks 216, uh, this DLF is uh, positionally long. So the company has considerably, uh, uh, you know, removed debt from the books and it is coming down and uh, now the sales is also improving. So I think the structural uh, uh, move is there in place and if DLF is holding 216, any dip on correction, if it, you know, corrects and have that stop loss of 216, all those uh, positional long, 
I think it's a good, good, good buy. Uh, add that uh, uh, below 216, and then uh, I think 270, 280, and then 320, 340 is going to be positional target uh, for DLF. So positional short, I don't, don't recommend that. Um, don't go that because uh, since uh, uh, there is a lot of transition uh, in the books uh, comparatively uh, year on year. So let's let, let's wait. In fact, uh, uh, once the market uh, looks a bit choppy and overbought, we'll try to short it uh, on hourly reversals. Currently, it is uh, on a bull trend, so not recommend to short. So Amit says, uh, Kriti Nath has shown up movement recently. Can I know a short term target eight percent up today? So let me check. I don't track such companies. Kriti. New trends, okay. So it's, is it a 19 rupee stock? Am I right on this? Okay. So can't say on this. Uh, I think better you play take a I don't uh, I have not read the balance sheet. So but strongly up to the average now. Uh, that 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 seems very good. Uh, it has reversed on a weekly basis. Uh, I think uh, uh, 23 is what is going to be you know uh, a strong reversal uh, point. If it closes above, then I think it should hold. Uh, you can see a, a big large volume distribution on the pick side. So 18 rupees it went up to 51. And the stock got distributed and the falling, you know, uh, so people are just trying to make an average. I, I personally feel, uh, I think uh, this stock has already hit the lows of 14 rupees. Any Anything which moves above 20.8021, you should book what you are holding on and uh, let, it, let it come down and, you know, retest the levels of you know, 14 or something, right? Let it come down to 12 or 11 zone. That is the point. I think a lot of shares uh, which got distributed, they will hit on stop loss. You can see it is a kind of uh, head and shoulder pattern only. So for me, I, I will not ask you to, you know, hold on to script, but if you want to, want to trade on this, so you can trade, uh, I think uh, 21, 80, 21, uh, the first point, you sell somewhat 70% of your shares, and if anything moves above to 23, 23 and a half, exit the script. In Petro for uh, long positioning. So uh, I I think uh, for an Hint Petro, you should uh, trade uh, cyclical you know, buy bottom sell sell uh, resistance. So you can see the script is moving between 320 and uh, again 260 is a good uh, support area. So uh, it is uh, currently you know, forming a kind of uh, parallel channel, right? And uh, this is how it it is moving on. So I think strong bet area is 240. If you want to put that investment, put that in, and any move up to 280 to 90, you can sell. Data motors. Sorry, hey, coming to Hint Petrol itself. Uh, sir, coming to Hint Petrol itself. Uh, positionally, long term, it is. Can it go to 500 types if I hold in for two years? So again, uh, see the value is totally on uh, divestment of BPCL. So no, we doesn't know that somebody is saying 51,000 crore, somebody 57,000 crore. Till the time we check on the valuation part, it is difficult that whether it is undervalued or, you know, uh, it, it is at best intrinsic value. So I think uh, that is uh, where uh, you can see that the stock has uh, gone in range. Uh, though it has made a higher 495 since then, it's been correcting, you know, probably an overvalued zone. So I think this is uh, what it is holding on. So uh, I feel personally, if you want to invest, uh, anything which is below 240 uh, is a good bet. 
and anything which is near to 320 to 350 zone uh, it's a, a good booking point till the time we get some disclosures on uh, divestment of bpcl uh, i think uh, better to trade in cycles thank you sir tata so, motor tata motor market is holding on to 12263 Okay, one ninety three. So uh, I think one ninety nine two hundred. Uh, it is going to test. Uh, it can move to two zero four as well to attract the public. A uh, very strong up move, strongly uh, hit by volume. You can see the strong wall part. Uh, uh, inverted head and shoulder again. I will show you the structure. So once it is out of that structure, it is uh, somewhat ready to you know. This is what it has made. Okay. Okay. So it has just broken up that inverted head and shoulder pattern. So it has reached the resistance area of 193. A very strong up move today from 185 to 193. Uh, it is uh, standing standing near the resistance area. So I think it will meet that resistance at 197. It will cool down a bit. Uh, we have a month to go. so before the numbers i think it it can move up above 200 but i think that's the area one should uh, look for an exit uh, let it consolidate because it is not easy to break uh, uh, 200 or 204 zone it uh, it might come down again to retest this uh, trend line of 187 to 188 uh, so once it holds that then we'll see whether the company is performing on numbers then we can extend the move for uh, short term those who have bought i think uh, try to exit above 200 and wait for better numbers to recollect the square okay sujil is asking on titan yeah so uh, i think post this uh, fall uh, on the numbers uh, the stock is now lacking the strength on buying side so any up move uh, you know it's been hit by volume you can see the move and then hit by uh, selling volumes so i think this is going to test at the end uh, the ultimate trend line of 1100 so anything which is below 1100 1180 will get the supports and uh, currently uh, stock is uh, heavily on the uh, base control side so avoid taking the script let it come down to 1114 and below 1100 that is where i should uh, think to collect the script so we'll check long term so long term stands near to this this is how it is tested move up tested move up and again it is testing uh, this time you can see uh, the divergence and uh, that's that's where stock moved high but uh, we can see the rsi averages are not going up lacking the volumes so let it test this long term trend line uh, breaking down will only give the support so this has happened there somewhere at 734 then started moving up till that time i think averages will cool down and that that's the area to enter the script so that is how it looks that so uh, uh, this is morning star morning star support now to evening star so possibility of testing and breaking it down uh for a long term i think uh, uh, average will work super trend average will work so let it come down uh, the uh, 2080 areas and then you uh, potentially look to invest so trading bets you might uh, see up and down 20 20 30 points i'm talking about positional so here uh, canra bank met the target uh, i have given you 1 rupee 1 rupee 50 paisa uh, 28.50 2600 is the lot somebody who traded uh, made a uh, 4000 rupees uh, on the lot state bank again uh, started moving up testing 338 and uh, potentially it's uh, i think a, a candidate before result and uh, i have already generated a buy call in state bank uh, circulated in the groups 330 is a buy 326 was a stop loss 
and targets around the 374. Uh, all depends upon how uh, they are going to present the results. Okay. So we'll wait for results. Uh, I think dips are good to trade. Uh, we already uh, discussed that in the webinar that 332, 330, these are the good areas to invest. Somebody wants to take that opportunity, trade that, uh, you'll find the good uh, trading amount. So looking somewhat on the chart structure, I'll just change the screen. This conference will now be recorded. So I think this uh, this is the mark. Uh, you can uh, draw some kind of uh, parallel uh, channel. Um, so it is uh, making a parallel channel. Uh, it is dipping down on an average. It is a bit overheated. Uh, so it might uh, test the uh, channel low and try to hit all the stop losses. So I'm just looking at this. So trend is very strong and we have a, a, a gap here. So let's, uh, you, know, so you can see some dips there. So we have a gap at the bottom, but uh, it all depends upon open interest data, which is standing. So let's see uh, how it shapes up. So banks are strong now. State Bank of India started rising now, 33830. So look at it. So I've just missed that uh, move on option of Canada Bank. I wanted to buy some good quantity anyways. Sometimes it happens. Cargill Bank looks stronger, testing 363. I think we should check at this chart of Cargill Bank. Uh, so guys, I have an expiry now. Uh, probably I have to look at uh, the numbers there. So that's all for the day. Uh, anything uh, you can just update me on WhatsApp. I'll answer the queries. Any specific question on expiry you can ask. Okay, uh, thanks for the day. We'll connect again sometime. Thank you, sir.